Hey everyone, this is Miles with Best Practice Medicine. Today we're going to be spending a little time learning about the Rapid Trauma Assessment, what it consists of, and when you would use it. The Rapid Trauma Assessment is used on major mechanism of injury patients or unconscious patients with an unknown mechanism of injury to rapidly obtain a quick inventory of all the body systems that may be injured on your patient. So before I arrive on scene, I will make considerations about the patient's mechanism of injury or nature of illness based on information from dispatch or from bystanders, as well as from looking around the scene. Using that information, I'll determine if I need additional resources and also what kind of spinal precautions I'm going to take. So just like any assessment, the rapid trauma assessment begins with an assessment of your patient's mental status. So if your patient's responsive, you'd ask some questions to determine how alert and oriented they are. This patient appears to be unresponsive, so I'll start by shaking and yelling. Sir, sir, hey, can you hear me? I don't have any visible or auditory response, so I'll move on to painful stimulus. So a patient's groaning with a sternal rub, alternatively, I could pinch the trapezius muscle pretty sharply behind the shoulders. So after you've checked the patient's mental status, it's time to go into ABCs, and we're in fine and fix it mode with this. Any problem we find with the patient's airway, breathing, or circulation, you'll fix and manage until it's stable. To assess the patient's ABCs, I'll do a visual inspection for major bleeding when I approach. I'll inspect the airway, find a central or distal pulse, and look, listen, feel for respirations. So after assessing and managing any issue with the ABCs, we'll move on to a full head-to-toe exam to take a quick inventory of any body system that may be injured. Any injury we find here, we'll ins expose and inspect as we discover it, but we're not going to treat yet. We're going to see everything that's going on before we make our determination of what needs to be treated how and when. We'll start with the head, inspecting and palpating for DCAT BTLS, down the neck, check the eyes, facial muscles, look in the mouth and nose, ears, down the back of the neck, the sides in the front of the neck, shoulders, chest, I may pause here and feel for a breath, for equal breath rise, to the abdomen, I'm going core first, I save the extremities for last, helping the core quadrants, pelvis, legs, so my patient's groaning, I'm going to cut his pants off and expose what injury I find in the legs. Moving on. The upper extremities. And ending to set the CSMs. Pelvis is stable, verbalizing to the tummy pain in. Uh, Got some deformity, crepitus there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and expose that and see what's underneath. Distal pulse is intact. Is intact. I hope you enjoyed that video on the rapid trauma assessment. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. I'd like to thank Rob and Fred, their EMT students who volunteered to come out and be patients and responders with us. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch.